high throughput comes from scaling laws. Atomic precision comes from starting with nature's atomically precise molecules and putting them together while not losing that precision. Atomic precision leads to new materials. Structure of matter is, is, can, is, can be controlled much more thoroughly. New materials leads to new components and to new systems. From this comes an unprecedented scope of production, the range of things that can be made, broader than what's found in industrial civilization, increases in scale of production, and reductions in cost. Billion-fold improvements in information technology, 10 to 100-fold improvements from better materials in aerospace, and even in mundane areas such as housing, lower cost, higher strength, higher efficiency, immunity to earthquakes, tornadoes, hurricanes, production on a scale that could bring a very high standard of living to people around the world. Now, what makes a change in our industrial technology base very urgent today, so and this illustrates the notion that these systems resemble printers, digital information in, complex products out. What makes it very urgent today is that there's a need to transform our energy supplies quickly to move away from carbon to renewable sources like photovoltaics and to deal with the increasing CO2 problem, which is changing climate rather rapidly. Levels increase despite international agreements and efforts to change technology and so on. They're expected to continue to rise. And to have the 21st century have a planet that resembles what we've had in the previous human history will require taking the CO2 levels down, and that is an enormous project. One can calculate the energy required. It's huge. The area of photovoltaics required to generate that energy is enormous. The costs are out of range of what can be handled by the world today but the prospects with a better means of making things more efficient, more capable, are to be able to do a project of that scale at low cost, taking molecular devices, removing molecules from the atmosphere, photovoltaics produced at low cost to power those machines, can draw down CO2 and fix the greenhouse gas problem in a moderate length of time once we pass the threshold of having those technologies. And that is a matter of using tools to build better tools. We've gotten this far to the scale of the Industrial Revolution. Uh, we now have in hand tools for beginning to build with atomic precision. Uh, and we can see pathways from there to a truly transformative technology. So the future today increasingly looks, as many people feel, uh, rather bleak, running in the, the collision between our industrial civilization and the limits to Earth is becoming more urgent. Many people look forward and they don't really see a future. But now we can see a path that leads to a very profound change in how our civilization works, how it interacts with the world, one that can make a different 21st century. And so I think that in our homes, in our businesses, and internationally, it's time to begin to change our conversation about the future, to consider prospects that are very different, prospects that offer a new kind of hope for the future of our civilization.